dandelions are beguiling plants. They're used as a food plant for over 55 invertebrate species, and they're also used by a large number of pollinating insects. Just like these pollen beetles in the genus Maligothes. But did you know there are around 250 different species of dandelion in Britain? Whilst you may think of these little gems as common garden weeds, like this boatman's dandelion with the bright purple midrib and rounded leaf tips. Some species are incredibly rare and others adapted to some real pristine habitats. So I'm here today to take my daily exercise on these Sefton Coast sand dunes to look at some of the very special dandelions adapted to this pristine natural habitat. One such dandelion is right below my feet. So these dainty dandelions are otherwise known as Oxford dandelions, Terexcum oxoniense. So if we take a look at these leaf stalks, they're a real deep purple. And if we have a look at the underside of the flower, these scaly appendages or exterior bracts, they're quite rounded. And those are characters for this species, Oxford dandelion. And just down here is Sefton's equivalent of a jaguar. It is of course a spotted dandelion with these intensely spotted leaves. Quite an uncommon species here in Sefton at least. It's currently thought that we have the diversity of dandelions that we have because of ancient hybridization events of ancestral races of dandelion. Most species only reproduce asexually through a process known as apomixis. Because there's no gene flow between species and populations, that accounts for the diversity we have today. If you want to learn more about dandelions, I couldn't recommend this little book more. It's by the Botanical Society of Britain and Ireland. It's the Dandelion Handbook. It's a fantastic book, but the BSBI also has some fantastic online resources whose links I've attached to the description of this video. Thank you for watching.